Exercise 10. The adjusted trial balance columns of a 10-column worksheet for Lynn Company follow. Complete the worksheet by extending the account balances into the appropriate financial statement columns and by entering the amount of net income for the reporting period. Well, every account belongs on either the income statement, the statement of owner's equity, or the balance sheet, so this is really just a matter of sorting the accounts out. Assets belong on the balance sheet, so we transfer the balance for cash, accounts receivable, trucks, accumulated depreciation on the trucks, and land to the balance sheet columns. Liabilities also belong on the balance sheet, so we transfer the liability accounts, accounts payable, salaries payable, and unearned fees to the far right hand column. Lynn's capital balance is the beginning capital balance. That's part of the statement of owner's equity. We transfer that to the far right hand column. Withdrawals are subtracted on the Statement of Owner's Equity. We include that amount as a debit in the Statement of Owner's Equity column. Plumbing fees earned is a revenue account. It's included on the income statement. We transfer its credit balance to the credit column for the income statement. And our four expense accounts are all included on the income statement, so we transfer the debit balances to the debit column in the income statement column. When we look at the income statement column, we have $67,577 in debits, $86,000 in credits. Expenses of $67,577, when subtracted from revenues of $86,000, is net income of $18,423. The total of our income statement debit column is now $86,000, and the credits also $86,000. When we look at the balance sheet and owner's equity columns, we have total debits of 131,712, total credits of 113,289. The difference is our net income. We need to transfer net income to the statement of owner's equity. Once we credit the statement of owner's equity for 18,423, the total of our debits, 131,712, equals the total of our credits, 131,712.